Turning to uh, the story of the moment, the really weird story of the moment, and that would be P. Diddy. Mm -hmm. I think it's funny just even having me say that. <laughs> P. Diddy. Diddy. Sean Combs. So this guy um, is, is quite a character. I mean, look, I, I'm going to be very forthcoming with you. I don't have a lot of appreciation for rap music. Surprise, surprise. I can't get beyond the lyrics, the derogatory, horrific lyrics. I mean, you want to talk about objectifying and demeaning women? There you go. Just look at any of these songs and it, it's there for you. So I, I, I don't like the industry. I don't like the sort of um, the, the, the grossness that it represents. And I don't like how they refer to women and, and how there's no real appreciation. Again, for the, the American great values of family and tradition, etc. So that's what I think about rap. So none of this really should be terribly surprising about Diddy because he was known for years and years and years to have this really extravagant and disgusting lifestyle. He did. And it, we're now learning that everybody's like, oh, yeah, you know, well, we knew about this forever. We knew about this. We knew about that. Well, what we're learning about is pretty bad. But I have some questions here. Because why is it now that the feds just suddenly busted in? Drew, do we have that video? I mean, it was incredible. The local news was there. They had a helicopter shot. <laughs> it was really something to see. And they're busting in and they're holding, I think one of the sons was like, held, had his hands up, they're holding him up. And these guys were not, like they were detained, but they were not arrested. And by the way, Diddy still has not been arrested. So I'm like, why? Apparently they got tipped off that there were all these cameras in the house. And we're talking about a big, a big you know what house, right? So this is a massive house that he's got. Well, he had a couple of properties that they went after. And so the feds bust in, they get the warrants for all this. And yet he's not arrested. I mean, why would that be? Did the feds get what they want? Are they trying to build a case? Is that what it is? We've learned through various sources, including uh, some people that have spoken with Rolling Stone, that the, the victims, the alleged victims in this particular case are coming forward quite willingly. In this Rodney Jones lawsuit that was filed some three weeks and change just before the feds bust in on Pity's place, we learned that there was all kinds of things that may have happened. And the feds are going in for, um, well, trafficking. So trafficking of human beings, one would assume underage girls, the Mann Act would be what you would be in violation of because you cannot go across state lines. And apparently they were traveling from Miami to California to also a spot in the Caribbean. And so if this were to be, say, like the Jeffrey Epstein case on steroids, I would just say, well, where's the arrest? Why hasn't that happened yet? Was this really about getting the cameras themselves? That's what I'm sort of wondering. And I'm also wondering because, you know, like he's sort of part of that protected class. Like he's got friends in high places, shall we say. We're talking like the former president of the United States and the wife of the former president of the United States. Cue this tape, Drew. One of the few politicians that young people relate to. And we wanted to just hear a message on why you feel it's important for them to vote this year. I really think that this year, more than any other, uh, young people have their entire futures at stake. And I believe your slogan, vote or die, is accurate. When you want to be the president of the United States, you, you call your man. Call MTV. Thank you. <laughs> and, and I just want to say how much I appreciate Puff Dan. For, for doing the kinds of work that he's doing because he doesn't have to do this. And I want to apologize for not sweating, but I, but I do this so much. I, I'm so cool. I just want y'all to see everybody I'm interviewing is sweating. I'm not even touching my brow. I'm so cool. And I want to apologize. I ain't trying to make you look bad or nothing like that, but I'm just so cool. Um, we, 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 we. a t-shirt. <laughs> I tell you, if he was wearing one of those fancy designer clothes he's designing, he'd be sweating just like me. My name is Sarah Obama. No, my name is not Barack Obama. My name is Sarah Obama. It's very important that 
you do not believe the polls. The polls are trying to say that my brother from another mother, Barack Obama, is up leading in the polls by 10 points. Don't believe that, brother. See, this is where we mess up. We start believing in the hype and we get too comfortable. Be ready to stand in the lines. Let's keep the heat on. Let's bring it home. <laughs> All right, so this guy knows some peeps. I'm laughing at your comments. You're like, oh, no, no. Don's like, I got friends in low places. I said, that's a country song. I'm pretty sure it's I'm not, a country music I like, okay? Country music I like. I even like most pop. I do have a classical background, so there's that. I don't really like the rap stuff, okay? <laughs> like, I just don't. And so we'll see what comes of this. I, I, I know that Diddy is, um, you know, getting a lot of dirty laundry exposed, shall we say, including his alleged relationship, whatever that may have been, with 50 Cent's ex-girlfriend. I was going to say wife, but she's the ex-girlfriend. She's the mother of his child. And he was pretty upset. We've got his tweets from yesterday, Drew, right? He's like, oh, well, first of all, he hates P. Diddy. Like 50, how do I know these things, right? <laughs> like, I'm a good reporter. He hates P. Diddy. He hates him so much. And he just has been trolling him like you wouldn't believe. He's like, listen, you know, you, you're going to be in trouble now. Now it's not Diddy do it. It's Diddy done. They don't come like that unless they got a case. That's 50 cent trolling them. And then there was this bit of information. We had the pictures of the ex-girlfriend. She's really pretty named Daphne Joy. I wonder if that's really her name. She's this beautiful woman. And so this was his significant other. They, they share a child together. It came out in this Rodney Jones lawsuit that somehow Daphne had a thing going with P. Diddy, allegedly, and she was on the payroll for this thing, <clears throat> along with some other women. And so then her, her ex, 50 Cent, found out about this in the lawsuit and started tweeting about that one, in which he wrote, do we have these tweets? You know, he's, he's well, let's just suffice it to say he was pretty derogatory, really, really derogatory to her. And he said, as a result of what he learned, he's going to see her in family court. In other words, he wants full custody of their son as a result of what he's learned or has been alleged, I should point out, in this lawsuit. Now, she's fired back and she's like, it's not true. These allegations are crazy. There's the CEO of Universal Music as well, who was mentioned in this lawsuit and he's fired back and his lawyers and Universal. And they're like, this is crazy. There is no truth to this. This is just, you know, somebody trying to capitalize on our names and reputations. And so she's furious because she's like, no, no, no. Like, how dare you say these things? She actually had a pretty meaningful statement that she put out saying, look, you know, I, I had hoped for better from you and, and for the sake of our child. And clearly that's not the case. So she's furious too. I mean, that is going to be an epic battle. So um, <laughs> I'm learning more about this rap world that I didn't really uh, have a whole lot of interest in until quite recently. Maybe you guys too, because what fascinates me is just the role of the government in all of this. Clearly they didn't care about him and what he was doing until now. So ask yourself, why now? Why was it necessary to go guns blazing into this thing and, and tear the whole home apart? What were they looking for and why have they not arrested him? These are some important questions to leave you with.